We'll start with the Mazda R43, size 12. This is a three extra long dry fly hook. Now we have to make the dubbing first. So this is made from CDC and hair's ear. So when you're using CDC, you'll get a lot of these bits that are surplus after you've used the CDC. So what we want to do is we cut those off we get rid of the stem and we keep all these bits that are left over that we've just cut off put these in a the little this is a sushi uh, soy sauce box that I use a lot of you can actually buy them so we collect all the CDC up in one of these little boxes and when you buy a pack of CDC you'll always get ugly ones as well that are not really useful uh, so we'll pull all the fibers back on this again and we'll trim these off into the CDC box and what we do is we take a hairs mask <coughs> and you want to mix the colors here so we'll take some of this honey all we do is we hold the hair like this and we make a little cut get rid of the mask and what we do and all this that you pull off now goes into another little uh, soy sauce box for a, a nymph dubbing but what we want here is the guard hairs so you hold the bottom of the piece you've cut off for the under fur very tightly and we just take hold of the guard hairs and we pull these out and they go just like that into the box with the CDC cuttings it's the guard hairs we want for this so just those come out like so and you can carry on until there are no guard hairs left doesn't matter if you get a little bit of this fluff with you but the less the better and then this goes into another box for nymph dubbing so once you've done, and I like to use the natural colours here uh, of CDC, but once you've done that and you've done, uh, you've made a mix about 50-50, you can start pulling it from each other to mix it like this. And give it a good mix so you get that very nice spiky fluffy dubbing. So, I've got some sheer tan, 40 naught. We'll just start this off. And we'll lay a foundation. Remove that. Go back to about there. And we need a bunch of coquetillon. It should be about the same length as the hook shank. So we just tie this in. There. Just tuck it down, check the length, that's good. We'll go back. Very nice. I want to splay this tail. So we just go under like that. Then we take a bunch of our dubbing. And we just start, we want this to be tapered from thin at the tail base to thicker towards the thorax so we just spin this on that's good let's slide that up catch it in work our way up over the abdomen all the way forward to there very good and you can see how this is all getting very spiky and scruffy hence the ugly name so we take a little more dubbing but this time all we want to do 
is just attach it to the thread like that very gently and then we'll go in and we'll go round just like that and a little bit more just touching it onto the thread just so it stays there just like that and pull off anything that's loose that's perfect then we want a little bunch of deer hair I haven't uh, stacked this all I've done is cleaned it if you stack it I think it kind of takes away from the scruffiness so we'll just put this on about the length of the body we we'll just tie this in lift that up take our whip finisher give it a couple Remove that. Bring all the butt ends forward. Let's turn that that way. I'll trim those off, leaving a little head, and that's it. That's the Scruffy May and uh, it's a great pattern, it really works. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.